Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is radioactive iodine uptake test. Uh, but before starting, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel, you know. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Uh, now I come to the topic, what is radioactive iodine uptake test? You know, it is one of the two kinds of the scans used to diagnose the thyroid diseases, you know. And uh, the other one is called like uh, a thyroid scan. And uh, radioactive iodine uh, uptake test, uh, it shows how well your thyroid is functioning. And a thyroid scan shows the size, the shape, and the position of the thyroid gland, you know. And your doctor may recommend uh, this test uh, if you have the symptoms of an overactive thyroid. Uh, blood work indicating an overactive thyroid or uh, an enlarged thyroid gland, you know. And uh, this radioactive iodine uptake test can provide uh, valuable information for the diagnosis of the thyroid conditions and uh, the treatment options you know and in some cases your doctor may recommend that uh, you also have the thyroid scan along with this test you know and uh, your thyroid is uh, a gland in the neck and uh, its function is that it controls the body's metabolism and uh, it does so by making a hormone which is called thyroxine or T4, you know, in response to the pituitary hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone, you know, which is known as TSH, you know. And the thyroid gland absorbs iodine from the body to uh, produce T4. As part of the radioactive uh, iodine uptake test, you will be given a pill or maybe the liquid containing the radioactive iodine. And the scan will show how much of the radioactive uh, iodine is absorbed by the thyroid, you know. And uh, this is a measure of how well the thyroid is functioning. Uh, the next thing is, are there any risk factors of thyroid uh, radioactive uh, iodine test, you know, optic test, you know. Well, the dose of radiation in this uh, uh, test is small and not associated with any dangerous side effects you know and uh, but uh, as an added uh, like precautionary measure the test is not recommended for the pregnant or the breastfeeding women you know and there are potential risks in exposing a fetus or the baby to radi radioactive material you know so inform your doctor if you are pregnant or if you are feeding or lactating you know and uh, your doctor can use the other means such as the blood works and the physical examination uh, to monitor this condition unless you are, are free from the pregnancy or you have stopped the feeding the baby you know breastfeeding so at that stage i will advise this test you know so you should tell your doctor if you are allergic to iodine or any other material or if you're taking any medications whether they are supplements or over-the-counter medications or prescription medications, you know, tell your doctor. The next thing is uh, any preparation needed. Well, you may be asked to stop uh, taking medications or any supplements or the foods which include like uh, iodine such as iodized salt or maybe shellfish, etc. You know, that could interfere with the tests, you know, and there's some uh, prepared foods and uh, the takeouts meals may be high in the iodine salt, you know, and the, some vitamins and the nutritional supplements also contain iodine, you know. So tell your doctor and uh, you know, what kind of your routine uh, food habits are, you know. And uh, the foods and the over-the-counter medications containing red dye may contain iodine as well. So you will need to avoid all these foods for a week before the test, you know. And the certain medications can increase the amount of iodine that uh, the thyroid absorbs, you know, and these medications include like uh, 
uh, estrogen or barbiturates, you know, or maybe estrogen or antihistamines or antithyroid drugs, nitrates, and uh, like saturated solution of potassium iodine, you know, and maybe uh, thyroid drugs, you know. So tell your doctor if you're taking any kind of these medications and he will stop temporarily these medications, you know, uh, before the scan. And uh, tell your doctor if you had other x-rays with the iodine-based contrast in the last few weeks, you know. So this can influence the results of the scan as well. So uh, let your doctor know if you have had like diarrhea recently since it may affect your ability to uh, absorb the iodine, you know. So these are very important things that you should mention to your doctor before uh, the test, you know. And you will be asked to fast for eight hours before the test and you may need uh, blood work uh, to see how your thyroid working around that time of the scan, you know. And you will be given a pill or the liquid which uh, contain the radioactive iodine and uh, it will take time for the iodine to make its way to your system. So that your uh, thyroid can absorb it you know and you will be allowed to eat again in an hour or two after swal like uh, swallowed the radioactive iodine and until the test is over you will have to follow uh, the same dietary restrictions that you followed in preparation for the test you know and you will be asked to uh, return the test uh, to the test center you know at certain intervals usually 6 and 24 hours after like uh, ingesting uh, the radioactive iodine you know and at this time you will be asked to sit down and the technician will place a device called gamma probe over your thyroid gland you know and uh, uh, there will be no pain and each scan takes only about five minutes you know although you may be asked to sit for additional images if the first ones are not clear you know and the camera probe measures how much iodine uh, uh, the thyroid has absorbed, you know, at the time of the scan. And uh, you will excrete the radioactive iodine in your urine in 24 to 48 hours, you know, after the test. And the amount of the radioactive iodine used in uh, this procedure uh, is so small that you won't need to take any precautions, you know. The next thing is about the interpretation of the results, you know. You know, the results of your scan will be analyzed in context with your blood work and other tests you have had. And uh, your thyroid has retained less iodine than would be expected if the level of the radioactivity in your uh, thyroid is usually as abnormally low, you know. So in general, this means that your thyroid has become inflamed or is not uh, retaining or producing the T4 properly, you know. So your thyroid is uh, absorbing more iodine uh, than what uh, would be expected if the level of the uh, like uh, radioactive iodine in your blood and it is, is, is high you know so this means that uh, you are producing too much T4 and uh, uh, that your thyroid is overactive you know so in other words uh, you have the hyper thyroidism and the most likely causes uh, or an autoimmune disease of the thyroid which is known as Graves disease or maybe the high hyperactive thyroid nodules you know and these lumps in the thyroid may grow and increase uh, the total output uh, of the thyroid hormone into the blood and your doctor then discuss with how to proceed with the treatment options you know so that was about the radioactive iodine optic test you know Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And the link for that website is just below this video in the description area. So once you click that link, uh, it will lead you to a new page of my websites. So you can uh, find the information there. And there is also a subscribe red button just below this video. So please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos as well to support this channel and it's very important uh, uh, to run this channel you know thank you very much for watching this video goodbye